Welcome to RCR Wireless's Device Review Weekly. Today's smartphone is from Verizon and was released on September 22, 2011. It's the Pantech Breakout by Korean handset maker Pantech, made for Verizon's 4G LTE. It costs $99.99 for a two-year contract, which makes it the cheapest smartphone Verizon has ever released. So let's talk about the exterior of the phone a little bit. We have a 4-inch display, which is 480 by 800 LCD touchscreen, which is a little bit smaller uh, than some of the other Verizon smartphone touchscreens. Uh, might be the smallest but uh, of the smartphones, but it's still pretty nice. It definitely gets the job done. The phone itself weighs just under 5 ounces. The USB and power plug right here. Um, you have your on and off and screen lock button right here. Uh, we have a, a camera button. Turn it over here. We have your uh, headphone jack and your volume on the side. This is like a microphone recording button. Then you have your menu, your home, your back, and your search buttons. So you have a front-facing camera, which is VGA. Then we have a back-facing camera, which is 5 megapixels. Um, it also shoots HD video up to 720p, which is pretty standard these days. The operating system is Android 2.3 Gingerbread, and it's using the Pantech UI, which is customized. You have your menu here. So we're operating on Android 2.3 Gingerbread with Pantech's uh, customized UI. There's our menu here. The phone itself has a 1 gigahertz processor, and 1024 megabytes of flash, and 512 megabytes of RAM. There are lots of pre-installed apps, as you can see here. Uh, it comes with Amazon Kindle, Blockbuster, uh, an NFL game. Pretty heavily pre-installed. Let's look in the back here. Uh, we have a large lithium-ion battery. Um, Verizon says it will last up to 347 minutes um, of usage time or 303 hours of standby. So we also have the SIM card and an 8 gigabyte SD card, which is nice. You store all your photos, music, etc. This has been RCR Wireless's review of the Pantech Breakout by Verizon. Thanks for watching.